Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. Today is the start of monthly vlogs, so today is the February vlog. Right now I'm headed to Home Goods right now because TikTok told me that they have parachute sheets at Home Goods. And if you know how much parachute sheets are, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead to Home Goods and see if they have any of those, plus just anything in general. I am looking to revamp my room and also my bathroom, so we can go through that journey together too. Look at this beautiful bowl. Why does Home Goods have everything, y'all? And it's a Sunday. I didn't think they would have all this stuff on a Sunday. Y'all, how cool are these frames? They're like, this one is wooden, but this one is kind of like a, like a stone color and they have a black one. But something's telling me it kind of looks like a tombstone. So maybe it's not that cute. All right, let's see. No luck with finding parachute, but I'm in the art section. So let's see what they have because I'm looking for a piece from my room. Cute, but kind of too plain. I think I want something a little more interesting. This is cool for my office because I'm kind of over the, the frames that I have in there now. This one is actually really nice. How do we feel about this in the office? My office is supposed to be like a black and silver theme. Have I stuck to that? No, I tried. <laughs> This one's cool, but again, it's kind of too simple. It's behind it. Voice cracking. Why he dressed like that? Oh my gosh. I love this man. Oh, this is my song. Oh. Oh. Hey, you better sing that shit, boy. What the fuck? What the hell is Lil John wearing? Where is Ludacris? He coming. He's coming, I swear. Oh, okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today is Wednesday, it's Valentine's Day. I'm single so it's just Wednesday to me babes. But <laughs> um, happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers, all the people in relationships and like everyone celebrating Valentine's Day. I am at home because I've been tore up these past couple of days. Like ever since I got back from Disney, mm, I've been so sick. Um, I kind of feel sick when I was even in the last clip going to home goods, but I was just trying to power through. But my body was like, girl, sit down, sit down. <laughs> so these last two days, I have been just like trying to get it together. I felt a little bit behind on work. So I'm really powering through to try to get this Disney vlog up. Um, so that's what I've been working on all this morning. Oh my God, the crack in my wall is insane. Do y'all remember when I first moved in and I had those cracks in my wall and they fixed them, but they got worse. Like. I don't know anyway um but yeah even on the trip the food was messing me up the food was tearing your girl up and i was like i think i was just you know adrenaline i wasn't really feeling it like i felt it kind of because i was super bloated and my bloating be real bad like it'd be painful because 
if I do too much, like just eat the wrong things too much, my body was like, girl, wait, 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 wait. So my stomach was so bloated, it was painful, but I was just trying to like have fun, the adrenaline was rushing, like, yeah. So as soon as I got home, down bad, and yeah, so. I'm just trying to get my life back on track right now. Bumble, yes, the dating app, is sending me something around the time of the day. It should be here in like, I wanna say, maybe like 20 minutes or something. So we'll see what it is. I don't know what it is, but they just told me that it's on the way. So I'm excited for that. That's like my only Valentine's thing to do today. Other than that, I'm just working. Um, but yeah, I kinda wanna unpack as well. It looks crazy, y'all, but yeah i just been pulling stuff out of my suitcase to use it and stuff like that but i'm actually going to unpack today too honestly like every time i'm not feeling well and then i have one day of feeling pretty okay i try to like maximize it but then i end up burning myself out so i'm gonna take my time <laughs> i gotta learn from my lessons y'all okay but um i'm gonna take my time but i definitely want to get this done because this looks crazy crazy y'all please look at this oh my gosh thank you so much bumble hard launcher best single life i know that's right and i am the main character this is so adorable oh my gosh i'm gonna film a little um unboxing okay it's so pretty this is insane <laughs> why am i tickled like y'all i don't use dating apps i have like once in the past fail okay i deleted that shit so quick but um this is so nice oh my god a sweet treat to share with your community you can now give your friend the gift of more likes more matches and more dating fun by treating them to seven days of bumble premium okay so i'm gonna leave this down below so y'all can use it or i don't know when this video is going to come out so hopefully you follow me on instagram because i'll just post it on instagram but wow, this is so sweet. Okay. Wow. You know, if one person won't do it, somebody else will. <laughs> and I, I feel like I'm choosing one because this is a very sweet gesture. Because I feel, did they see my video about me saying I'm single and like crying and stuff? And they're like, let's cheer her up. I don't know. Y'all, another package. Valentine's Day themed YSL Beauty. And they sent me some candy gloss lipsticks yeah gloss sticks sorry candy glaze lip gloss stick y'all this one is a hit okay i love this one and i'm excited to try these too and i'm sorry but the box is beautiful like i kind of just want to keep this y'all see all this in my car i actually ended up closing my storage unit because why were they trying to charge me 200 dollars for that little old thing when i first got it i think i was paying like 70 dollars a month or something like that which is cool you know um because i actually had you know enough stuff in there to where i felt like it was worth it so um fast forward they upped the price they doubled it like actually they more than doubled it i think it was like 180 yeah they tried to charge me 180 for that little old storage unit and i was like how did we go from 70 dollars to 180 anyway so i actually ended up um calling them because i'm like what happened because i didn't get a notice that my price was going up i thought that my camera cut off but um what was i saying oh my god i forgot oh so basically they didn't notify me that my price would be going up which they're supposed to so they ended up working out a deal with me and so i ended up paying like 150 or something like that it was just the worst deal ever but i was like at least it's not 180. <laughs> so then after that no less than like six months later recently they upped the price again and they were trying to charge me 200 something dollars it was like 200 it was like a little over 200 i can't remember the exact amount yeah we got up out of there because absolutely not okay i'm trying to save money this year well intentionally save money I, i've been saving money but like you know just cut all the unnecessary costs because girl life is expensive we're headed to chick-fil-a now um i'm excited because i really been craving some chick-fil-a fries y'all so i'm like i'm about to get that it's valentine's day i'm about to treat myself okay um <laughs> so yeah and then like i said there's a home goods over there so i'm excited to go there mission accomplished we got something look what we got y'all look what we got it's just cookies 
because the other things it was like a 50 count nugget i'm like girl i'm not eating all that and then it was something else chicken minis i think okay also comment down below which chick-fil-a sauce is your best and is your favorite not gonna lie i'll go between polynesian and actual chick-fil-a sauce but what's your favorite I was actually going to surprise one of my friends with a heart-shaped pizza. <laughs> okay, I think we're just going to do the pizza. I was looking at other desserts and stuff, but I'm not sure, so. Okay, we got heart-shaped pizza. It's from Papa John's, so I hope I hope it's good. I, don't, I haven't had Papa John's or Pizza Hut or anybody in forever, so. This is the only heart-shaped pizza I could find, so we're just going to do it. Next order for the heart-shaped pizza. I'm excited. I can't wait till he calls me. He's like, girl, what did you do? <laughs> And I just said he, I know, don't get your panties in a bunch, child. He like men just like me. <laughs> okay, in home goods. And this is the second time I'm seeing this little like Jaguar little thing. I might need it. Okay, my camera's dying, so I think I might switch to my phone. But I'm kind of also looking for a big either green or brown like like some maybe ceramic vase they have some really cool like even this clock looks really nice but again don't need it um i'm gonna keep looking around see what i can find oh my gosh i love 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 this it's on sale too and it is like a little bit damaged in certain places but so pretty oh i love 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 this and i noticed that this brand right here and home goods has some really good frames it's only 130 I'm not gonna lie i can make this <laughs> that be my thought every time when i see art i can make this y'all this in my room but obviously this way i think it goes this way but this above my my dresser would that be cute but let's keep looking because i got some good stuff in this one too basic y'all this right here so pretty but it's just too small and for a hundred dollars mm, not gonna make that <laughs> y'all it is 1 30 your girl was not feeling her best this morning i don't know if it was that slice of cake or what but again my stomach has been going crazy like i don't know what is happening but um so I slept in, I got up at like noon, <laughs> and I decided, you know what, let me get myself together. So I put on this cute little matching set from Skims. Okay, and they're like these long pants. My house is a mess, don't, don't look at it. Um, and I did a little skincare, you know. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm feeling it. Okay, cool. Um, so I have a bunch of PR that I just got and I want to open it with y'all so let's do that. I had some before I left but I never got to show you guys and I just got four new packages which a lot of sh but hey okay so I was like let me hop on camera and open it with y'all so I can make myself feel useful because I was literally just laying in the bed like lord <laughs> please save me um and then after that I got work 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 to do y'all look at her oh my gosh so this is from fenty fenty skin yeah fenty skin i never know the difference i like fenty one of them fenties so we have lip mask oh all the lip masks dehydrating lip oils which i'm excited about because i really did want to try and then pretty much all the gloss bombs well i think there's a new one so it looks like this it's called fuchsia flex so let's see what she giving oh look at that please so pretty not my vibe but it's pretty <laughs> then we have fussy which loki i've been wanting for the longest time i just never got it so got this one or did i i can't remember um glass slipper which i think i know what this one is <gasps> I didn't know they had a clear clear. This one doesn't have any glitter in it. Oh, this is staying in my car for sure. Actually, <laughs> this is a gloss bomb heat. So, oh, it's a plumper. Mm, okay. 
I mean, let's be real. Ooh, this is so pretty. This literally looks like the diamond thing that, or the gold thing, that highlighter that went viral. You know, her little gold, yellow, green looking thing. This looks like that. Um, but it's a plumper. Now, I don't need no plumping because your girl got natural juicy lip. This is the conditioning lip oil. Love a good lip oil. I actually been seeing, oh, this looks so cute. It's so fat and chunky. So adorable. I feel like the doe foot thing is probably chunky too. It is. Ah, look at this. Yes. Uh huh. Ooh. It smells. This smells like those lip glosses that we had as a kid. Oh, yes. And it feels nice. And this one is Melon Treat. Ugh. These boxes are sturdy. And this one. Ooh. I love this one. Yes. These. Mm hmm. Oh, these are just lip masks, which I guess are like overnight thingies. I have the eye cream, it looks just like this. So let me make sure I remember that is the lip mask. Next up, I already showed y'all this, but I didn't show y'all the actual shade. So this one is 13, which is like a little red color i would love to like put this in the middle of my lips you know with a nice brown liner and then just pop that in the middle to give you like a little juicy pop and then this one is 14 it's like a brown color please imagine this oh i can't wait to try these um this one is 15 really pretty like mauvey color so pretty i feel like i saw somebody with a mauvey color in this and it looks so good with a brown liner and then this one is two which is my favorite this is just a regular one it's basically clear clear <laughs> but this is so good i keep this on me too because it's so hydrating like these are worth it so if you get any color get the number two because it's mm, girl my camera dying already lord jesus um next up from ysl beauty oh my, yeah i have my battery in the thing um ooh, a mirror and a mascara how pretty it's like a waterproof mascara and look at the freaking bottle and it's blue oh yes 400 percent buildable value waterproof heat proof humidity proof smudge proof vegan up to 48 hour wear immediately last you look bigger shop now sephora period <laughs> i love this i should have brought this with me to um to disney that's okay, girl. We're gonna have some more trips. So I feel like this will be perfect for vacations for sure. You know, when you're sweating and it's hot and like all that. So keeping this one. Next up we have Tatcha. Y'all, I have never really bought anything from Tatcha. Please. I'm so excited. Okay, this is the Matcha Cleanse. Let me open her. Love a cleanser. Hopefully it's like a nice gentle one too. Then we have the liquid silk canvas. Oh, this is a primer. <laughs> yes. Also, we have the water cream. First of all, y'all know my skin loves a good water cream. And then we also have the Kasu lip mask. Wow. I'm gonna try this like right now, low key. And then also some little clips. So cute. So that's all we got from Tatcha. Shout out to Tatcha. Thank you. I showed y'all this already. I'm pretty sure I showed out this, right? The Seven Virtues um, fragrance. I was using this all throughout my Disney trip. Like, I'm obsessed with this. So, now we can take it out the box. I can't remember where I showed y'all this. We can take this out the box. Ooh. And add her with her sisters because I love this. Okay. Like, this right here is a fragrance. I damn near used the whole trial size. Like, it's gone. <laughs> um, What is this? Oh, no. Okay. Over here. Changing scenery. The other boxes are over here. The first one is from Olaplex. They be spoiling me, y'all know. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, I love a cosmetic bag. <laughs> okay, we got a cosmetic bag. Oh, and it says Olaplex on it. You know what? I really like be needing <gasps> stuff for like, uh, why do they love me so much? I'm dead. Wait a minute. Hold on, 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 hold on. Is this new? Maybe it's not. They have a dry shampoo. I did not know that. Okay, period. But they also gave me a bunch of travel size stuff. So this is like for my travels. We have a number three, which 
This is the regular size, y'all. I know number three be coming in the smaller size. A small shampoo, a small conditioner, I'm assuming. Yes, small conditioner. And then also another body oil. Y'all know I love this oil so freaking much. I'm anticipating a package and I don't know if this is it. Okay, wait, no, 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 no. No, we gotta open this one first because if that is if that is what it is, I'm gonna freak out. So we're gonna open the Elemis one first. If they gave me some more marine cream, I might also scream. <gasps> they did. Wait, it has SPF 30 in it now. Love her. She's cute. And then also, I got the marine cream that has the SPF in it for the summertime. Perfect. Um, we also have the resurfacing pill pads, which I already have some, so I might put those in the giveaway well. They gave me a washcloth, but a, another pro collagen cleansing balm. Love this stuff so, 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 so much. Like, your skin is going to feel amazing after using it. It doesn't feel, you know how sometimes when you, you know, take your makeup off and you're scrubbing your face a lot, it feels kind of dry and just not it. Oh, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I am dead. Wait, oh my gosh. Ooh, wait. First of all, this is from the main choice. This is not what I thought it was gonna be, but I'll keep y'all updated. But we have a curling iron, I guess, and it has different attachments. So it has a crimper. And this is a very interactive PR package. I guess a bigger crown iron, a small one. Okay, we're back at stage one. You can see this is the base and it has like all the little buttons and then you have a little chunky one. I love that it's pink and green, so cute. Um, and a smaller barrel and then you have a crimped barrel. So the only reason I'm thinking about keeping this is because of the crimped barrel, but I can also just go get a crimper. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna put it back in, I'm gonna put it back in there. Just in case I do wanna give this away. But, I love this. Shout out to y'all. Thank you, main choice. They be spoiling me. I actually gave away a flat iron um, and a blow dryer brush. Um, So yeah, that was fun. That actually kind of brightened my day a little bit. So I'm about to get to work. And then I'm waiting on my mom to get back. She's been traveling. So I'm gonna go over there, take her her gift that I got her from Disney. Let me show y'all that real quick. I got my mom and my sister these Pandora charms. And these are only available at the, at the park. So I got this one for my mom. It's like a little blingy one. So cute. She loves to bling, okay. My mama is a glam girl. And then I got this one for my sister. Cause the bow was kind of pink and she loves pink. So got those for them and yeah, that's literally it. That's everything for right now, y'all. I am going to clean all this up, get to work, go over there, spend time with my family and stuff and then come back probably go to sleep and repeat my whole day all over again we're in my bathroom now and i'm getting ready to start putting up my new shower shells look how pretty these are i got them on amazon i'll link them for y'all these are just they're like a metal material but i like that they're gray because i have black now and i feel like it just i don't know it's not giving so i'm going to actually switch everything from this wall over here to the back because i feel like when you walk in the bathroom and my door is right here. So when you walk in the bathroom, you see all these like cluttered products and I just think it's not cute. What I wanna do, move it over here so it's a little more hidden and then I'll finally be able to hang like eucalyptus and stuff from my shower head. So step one, I need to take all this out and I wanna clean my shower because even the door is kinda like dirty. You can see from like me being in the shower and wash my hair, all my products on the wall. Um, let's do a little haul real quick. This is one of my favorite body washes for any type of like body acne or anything. Especially when I shave my thighs, my thighs are very sensitive. I think I've shared this before, but my thighs are very sensitive. So any type of hair removal, I start to kind of break out a little bit. So this gets rid of it so well. So I use this on my thighs and then also 
if I have like, you know, some irritation after a wax or whatever, I'll use this. I don't use it on my girl down there though, because no man, this has glycolic acid in it. So I just keep it in certain areas. And then I also got the body polish from the European Wax Center, which I'm sure if you go there, then you know what this is. I like it, it's good. It finally does have some active ingredients in it. This right here is new. And I kind of like her. This is the Everywhere Wash, but it's also for your sensitive areas. So I don't remember where I saw this. It might've been Instagram or TikTok, but somebody was using it. And they also was using something else from this line. And I decided, you know what, let me go pick it up. So when I went to the register, the cashier at Sephora, she said, oh girl, this is such a good body wash. I was so I was like, oh girl, bring me up quicker. And then I also have my So De Janeiro Body scrub, have been love, love, loving this. The Bum Bum Body Scrub. What else? These are some of my favorite hair products. So this is the Under Your Skin Shampoo and Conditioner. It looks like this. And when I tell you, my hair always feels so good after this. Like after I use these, so bomb. And then I also really like this conditioner too. The Moisture Replenish by Mazzani. Such a good conditioner. And then also I have been using my Bath and Body Works shave cream when i work with them they sent me a bunch of stuff so this shave cream is actually really good so i've been using it and it smells it smells so good it smells like a clean it's like if you like unisex smells but it also smells like a rainforest like i don't know it's called rainfall retreat okay there we go you know of course we got a olaplex number three in the shower, I keep it upside down so that the product goes. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to use every single last drop, okay? Master Cleanse, love her. And then the scalp scrub, and then the scalp conditioner from TVH. Too good, okay? And the last few items are some more body care favorites. This is the L'Octane Shower Oil. 10 out of freaking 10, your skin is gonna feel like you're a brand new baby in this world. And my favorite, favorite, favorite body wash, the Olay body wash with peptides, collagen peptides, and then this Pinoxyl acne foaming wash, which actually I use on my face sometimes, but I use this under my armpits too. It was one of them TikTok tricks, and I was like, hmm, let me try it out. And I actually kind of like it. And then this is also my little bar with turmeric and kojic acid for my armpits as well to brighten them and to also cleanse and stuff and then this is my african net sponge skin has never felt better okay body acne wear like even if i had body acne i would lightly go over it with this just to get a nice exfoliation this is so good y'all and then this is my favorite razor from flamingo and they came out with a chrome version and i thought it was so cute and it matched it matched my shower so i had to get it you know that is everything let's that was easy. Oh my God, this is not even stuck on here. Now the annoying part is trying to get these off. But luckily my wall is a little textured, so it sticks, but it's not hard to get off. Again, moving them over there because I don't want to be a minimalist in the shower. Like I want to have all my shit front and center so I can have options when I'm in here trying to treat myself. But oh, I want to use this new body scrub I just got and I forgot it's in the cabinet because it couldn't fit in none of my shelves. So I gotta get out of the shower, butt naked, <laughs> wet, just wet and naked and running across the bathroom to grab a product like no. This one is on there. The other ones were lifting like really bad, Loki. This is the finished outcome and I feel like it came out really good. It's so funny that all my products really just kind of, 
pass the vibe check anyway these are all of my body washes all the ones that i love my razor i have a hook for my razor but it broke so i just gotta uh like super glue it back together and then i'm gonna put it right here so that it just hangs there then we also have some body scrubs so we have way Sol de Janeiro. also put some that i've been had for the longest time but just never used it because they're not in my reach when i'm using the shower so put some here and then down here shampoos and conditioners kind of branded low-key and then down here some hair masks hair scrubs stuff like that and then my favorite shampoo and conditioner from under your skin briogeo y'all know i love these too and then this detox mask from inner sense so that is the vibe and then over here i can finally put my eucalyptus took my brains out i know i didn't do it on camera but i did film it for tiktok so and then also for this sponsorship i have to do on instagram for some hair care so you will definitely see it but it took me 80 million years to get my hair in this bun because i feel like i forgot to wear a bun um when i'm doing my makeup obviously as you can see currently 4 10 i have to be at errands at 5 but i low-key told her 5 15 but in my head, I'm trying to get there at five. I know I probably won't, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm making a charcuterie, but I'm making it when I get there. So I have to go get the ingredients. And I told myself I was gonna get them um, on the way there so that they wasn't just like sitting in a bag or sitting in a fridge or anything. I didn't wanna get them yesterday. I wanted to go get them fresh. So yeah. That was a plan, but girl, I'm running late. I also used this skin tint from Hourglass. I think I got the wrong shade. I got shade nine and it's it matches me, don't get me wrong, but I feel like once I put my concealer on, it's not really giving me what I need. I'm gonna try to build it up a little bit. But also I have my Sephora my first moves. So I really don't need to do this. Let's see. See, it's like a perfect match, but I be wanting to go just like the tiniest bit. Do y'all see how kind of too light it is a little bit? I think it's the wrong undertone, that's really it. But I like to usually go a little bit darker and then just let my concealer lighten up whatever I need. But honestly, this might work, so don't want to complain too soon. Um, but I am doing a little bit of a light makeup beat. Nothing crazy. My Laura Mercier. Actually, I haven't used this. This is the Ultra Blur. And I actually got it personalized when I went to the Laura Mercier event in New York. So let's use this because I haven't used this in a minute. And I feel like this will be a little bit better for this light beat I'm trying to achieve. So I really want to try this new e.l.f. blush that I got, but I kind of wanted to also try it on, oh my God, on camera. Oh, it's so pretty. It's the one, it's called, what is it called? Rose You Slay in this shade right here. So pretty and it's literally like a little charlotte tilbury dupe y'all i'm gonna put a little bit i ain't trying to do too much and i'm also gonna use my fingers this why you can't be trying stuff when you got somewhere to go because i don't even like how this is coming out <laughs> and i'm really about to wipe it all off but i'm about to be so late that i can't i don't have time to be doing all that so i'm going in with my sephora micro smooth which i legit have to find more of because one this fixes everything <laughs> two it's so good oh yeah this looks good all you gotta do is put some micro smooth on it and it's gonna look flawless um i think they're going out of stock of this or something i don't know but i'm in the shade 33 honey and it just does it for me every time I mean, <laughs> hello, like, I legit look like an elite employee. 
After that, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. I usually do this at the end, but it was right there, so I just grabbed it. This is the, what is this, the blurring powder or something? What is this called? Airbrush Flawless Finish. And this is in the shade two medium. I thought this was like the only shade they had, LOL. But I guess this is shade medium, so. And as you can see, she's looking flawless, but she needs some dimensions. So I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, my Fenty bronzer. I look you feel like this is expired and I need to get a new one, but we'll talk about that later. And I only just tap like the outside of my face with this. I don't even go all the way in here no more. Like when I'm doing the light heat. I don't go all the way in here. I just kind of keep it out here. Just for that bronzed appearance. So I don't want to actually look like I got too much makeup on. And then for my nose, I just squeeze it a little bit. And I just sloppily go on each side. Even though sometimes it will get in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna go with my Milani Luminoso. This is legit my favorite um, blush. And tap, boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna just tap to that, tap, 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 tap to that, tap, 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 tap. Okay. And yeah. Tap some on that. Um, what is it called? The tip of my nose. Access on my eyelids. I'm just. Doo -doo 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 I feel like it gives me such a girly appearance when I put it on my eyelids. And plus, I don't know how to know uh, eyeshadow, so I just be dumping up on there. I literally just told myself I wanted to grow my eyebrows out so I can go to a professional and get them done. And here I am, tweezing away. We're gonna use this setting spray, the Charlotte Tilbury one, and then I'm also gonna set my brows a little bit with the Refi. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It works, but I feel like it don't be doing what it be doing on other people on me. That looks good. So now we're gonna spray our face. bringing the life almost killed me okay love 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 this stuff but I just got all in my mouth oh my god and then I'm gonna do mascara I'm gonna do my Lancome Edol Lash and this is my favorite mascara I really do want to get a um, lash lift but baby this is my lashes look amazing so I'm gonna do like my camera just be dying but I'm gonna do like three coats okay for fragrance i'm wearing my gentle fluidity y'all this be smelling so good Ugh. but i'd be scared to get it on this shirt because this really be showing oil spots so let me just ooh, ooh. i have on these um what is this called soft smoothing from skims these are the green ones got the matching shirt and then i'm just going to be wearing this little jacket from zara <laughs> boom and it is kind of like cinched at the waist so this is cozy very cute Ta -da. and baby that is it um for shoes great question don't really know but i think i might just wear where are they in here boom Ugh. i think i'm just gonna wear my asics because y'all i love these shoes she looks really cute oh my gosh shout out to my friend for putting me on number one and also getting them for me for christmas thank you so cute i wear them all the time i love gifts that actually you know i actually wear and use and stuff like that and that's why i also like to give too like i like to give people stuff that they're actually going to use and they actually want to either wear it or you know what i'm saying like a lot i don't like to give gifts that just sit there so i be loving gifts that i actually get and i love and i use all the time like those are my favorite gifts now i gotta find my um 
jewelry because I have not been able to find my earrings. But I think they're in here. I think they're in, ooh, this thingy. Because I have not unpacked a thing from Disney. Well, I unpacked like a tiny bit of stuff. And why did I put all my jewelry in here with my glasses? And it's just scratching it all up. Like, do I not hear? Okay, wait. Where's the back to this? Oh my gosh. All right, ta-da. A little, oh, I can't even see. A little stud, boop. And I do have some rings in here, so let me just throw them on. So, all right, rings. This one is from, this gotta be from like Oak and Fort or something like that. So it's like gold, white, and black. Um, This one, my girl Simone gave to me on the Disney trip, so cute. And this one is from Amazon. I love this one, it's so pretty. This one right here. And then this one's also from Amazon too. Looks like this. And I usually wear these together. So, jewelry. And I'll probably do this watch if it's in here already. Or should I do my Apple Watch? Probably my Apple Watch. Yes. Look at this lady. Yes. Lady of the hour. Just call my number, Erin. It's okay. We got 067. Oh Lord, okay, back up a little bit. So, we are getting dressed. I need to find us somewhere to put y'all. Let me find a tripod somewhere in this house. Um, so, I just called Aaron for the uh, outfit vibe check and I'm failing it. So, <laughs> I'm trying to find a cute little way to spice this outfit up. Because I was gonna go real simple, um, real chill. I don't even think I ever hit y'all with this angle of my house before. Oh my God. But this is where the light is though. We over here. Okay, so the coat I wanted to wear is my Banana Republic coat that I haven't got a chance to wear yet. But I'm like, oh, this will be perfect. But now I don't know what shoes to wear because my plan was to wear um, some red tennis shoes. I thought that would be the cutest freaking outfit but listen <laughs> so it's either these boots right here which are from Bottega they kind of they go with the vibe a little bit I'm feeling it or uh, if we want to dress it up the tiniest bit we have our little Billy Goat shoes um, these are my tabby boots from Margiela um, but I don't know because I am so good for wearing these I love them so much and I feel like they add a little something something but I don't know the base being white and blue and then I put this on top like I'm just something is off okay instead of a white t-shirt how about I do a nude turtleneck this is from skims okay okay I love this turtleneck, it's so good. But this is not the bra that I wanted to wear. It's kind of bothering me, but we'll be fine. And I feel like a turtleneck is just a little more, a little more businessy. Cause that's apparently what this is, I didn't know. The jacket back on. Oh yeah, this does it for me. This does it just a little better. You see what a turtleneck does? But I do think I might wear the heels because I feel like it'll add something. Yeah, because then I'm gonna wear a black bag. Yeah, mm -hmm. a black bag. These, these will match the black bag. We good, okay. Let me hurry up because I'm getting ready to be late. Bye. Who we are, what we do. So I'm gonna give you a quick little APR and influencer marketing agency that was founded in 2018. Um, we're based out of New York City. Hey y'all, just got back from running some errands. It's the next day. 
And I want to go through this goodie bag with y'all that we got at the Bonita Project event. First of all, the event was amazing, okay? It was full of just like black, beautiful creators. And I love events like that because it really shows you who's in the area. Because let's be honest, a lot of other events, they don't bring out the black people. That's all I'm gonna say. They don't bring out all of the black creators. Like they just pick and choose who they want to invite. And it's just like, dang, I want to know who's in my city. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make those like-minded connections. So, it was amazing. I met some beautiful women. I talked to, like, the person running. Like, listen, when I when I get invited to an event, I work that room. You know, like, why are we having this event? What is the purpose? Is it a launch? Like, how can we get more opportunity? Like, stuff like that. I don't play that sitting pretty and just you know being shy at events like no i'm gonna go talk to everybody <laughs> because that's how you truly network like it was for networking so that's how you truly network you get up and you just talk to people and you just be friendly and just like you know what i mean just do those type of things and you know i made a really good connection with the lady that actually was running things i'm like okay there he is. she was so sweet and she was very open to like constructive criticism too so i love that you know she was like how are you enjoying yourself is there anything that i can change for the next event to make it better and i was like yes ma'am i got you so i like people who are like that too like i guess executives who are open to hearing what we have to say because ultimately we're the ones that they're inviting, right? And so we are the ones that's gonna cover the event too. Like we're the ones that's gonna be doing these things. So of course they should probably, it's kind of smart to listen to us, but let me change my battery and I'm about to show y'all the goodie bag. I already start pulling some out. Uh, first of all, I was literally going to repurchase this. This is the all nighter. Yeah, the all nighter setting spray. I wanted to repurchase this, but then I was like, mm, I wanna try something new. But then I also had some um, sent to me in PR like different setting sprays so I want to try those out before I just go buying another one and boom okay god bless your girls so I love that there's a bunch of like little things in here like there's a L'Oreal what is this this looks cool I feel like I saw Monet using this but they had a makeup artist there also a black woman her name was like Golden Nug I've, I feel like I've seen her around like she does really good makeup um but she, I guess, quickly color matched a couple products in there. We got some like night serums, a um, couple like Urban Decay products. I think it's like an eyeliner, which, oh no, 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 a brow blade. Oh, she was demonstrating this. So you could go there and get your brows touched up and stuff. We got some big things in here. This is a cleansing balm and a Hydrating cream by these brands. This look good. A CoverGirl gloss. Look how juicy that looks. Yes. We got some um, sunscreen. This is a serum. Ooh, there's another one. Is this the same shade? Oh, these are the same shade, I think. I can give one away. Oh, yeah, they are. Ooh, okay. That's a juicy shade for the summertime. What's all this other stuff? Ooh, a small L'Oreal Elnet. This is going in my travel case for sure. I already have this, so I'm going to give this away. But another. Oh, this looks like my sister's shade, low key. So maybe I can give this to my sister. This is a skin softening toner by Vanilla Co. I never heard of them, so interested to see. Ooh, deep bronzing drops. I guess you use this on your body or your face or something. And that is everything. So shout out to the Bonita Project for having me. Well, I was a plus one, so. But shout out to y'all for having me. Um, okay, let's open some boxes too because I got some PR. What's this? Ooh, is it blush? Ooh, wait, no. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a Smashbox. <laughs> I was like, hold on. So we got two, I guess these are blush palette. Halo Sculpt and Glow Face Palette. So one of them is like a bronzy thing, I'm guessing. Ooh. Let's look at this. This looks nice. Ooh. Hmm. I love stuff like this because this I feel like it's way better for traveling because you're not bringing five different freaking um you know like powders and stuff deeper color so 
I feel like my sister would like this too. She's kind of getting into makeup, so I feel like I want to give her everything. <laughs> Amazon, of course, because it's me. Oh. Hold on. That's a big old cut. Your girl is a Stanley girl. <laughs> I got me a Stanley Cup because we have this little group chat from Disney where everybody has Stanley Cups. So you know I had to give me one. And so I got a black one because it matches my car. So yeah. <laughs> oh, this one is from Milani. Okay, let's open this. I was like, I know I seen Milani somewhere. Okay, we got a whole drawer. Why do I feel like I'm gonna break this? Oh, that's why, because it's all out of place. <laughs> well, ooh, is this a lip liner? It's an eyeliner, oh my God, let me tell y'all something. I have been wanting a brown eyeliner for the longest time, and boom. Okay, these are their new, oh my God, these are cream blushes and cream bronzers. Yes, look at this color right here. That's my jam, this one too, low key. Mmm, okay, came with a little brush, and then this is their anti-gravity mascara. So I'm actually hoping that this doesn't make your lashes fall, because you know how, when you put on too much mascara, it technically is heavy, so it makes your lashes look like they're not. Okay, then we also have some liquid eyeliners. I've really been wanting a brown liquid liner, so this is staying with me. Thank you so much. Is there more? Oh, oh wait, it opens like this. Hold on. Oh, oh, uh, ta-da. <laughs> Also got some lip stains. These look really pretty. Oh, also one more thing. Patrick Ta sent your girl some goodies, but it's too dark. So he sent me a little brush. This is the, the contour brush. I guess it's like dual sided. And then I got this, uh, what's this called? The Major Sculpt. So you know his things that have like the two, I'm gonna open it because whatever. But again, I'll probably give this to my sister because this is too dark for me. But I've always wanted this from him. And I think I want the She's Contoured or something like that. This is the call, this is, what am I saying? <laughs> this is called She's Chiseled and it's the deep shade. And this is, I, <laughs> that is everything that I needed to unbox with y'all. I'm about to eat some leftovers. Cause my family had this like very impromptu cookout on President's Day. I didn't even know it was President's Day, so <laughs> there's that. It's content day, so I'm headed to meet Aaron. Um, I'm like five minutes away. I just stopped to get a matcha from Blank Street because I felt like it would look cute with my little outfit, <laughs> and I really want a matcha. But also, um, I have on like a. I feel like my outfit is very casual. Okay, it's not my fault. I don't know what's going on. Because you ain't supposed to turn from that lane. Got people beeping at me. I didn't do nothing. But yeah, we're about to take some pictures. Um, I haven't taken pictures in so long. <laughs> I mean, I took some at the event that we went to. But as far as like a content day, I have not done a content day in so long. So, yeah, I'm starting back slow. I have on a simple, well, I have my Banana Republic coat. And then, hold on y'all. Banana Republic coat, okay, my little Skims, what is this called? I be forgetting, soft smoothing. So I have on the t-shirt and the leggings and then I have on my Asics, got my, um, my Glam Flam and a matcha. What does the girl need? I'ma see y'all. When I get to the Bowen building, cause that's where we're shooting at today. They do a construction outside, but that's a really good place to do some, um, oh, y'all driving, like, y'all ain't got no sense today. I might have to see y'all later. But, again, we're shooting at the Bowen building. It's really pretty outside. It's, like, all neutral, black windows, like, that type of vibe. So, if you want a spot to shoot, that's a good spot to shoot. <laughs> Hey y'all, good morning. I got my hair wrapped up because I just gelled her down and all that good stuff. I'm about to go to the grocery store because my camera's so high. I haven't been to the grocery store so long. Like, 
I've been eating out, not eating the best. So yeah, I'm about to wear my new Uggs though. I got these for Christmas, my sister got them for me. I need to make a list, but these Uggs feel different. Y'all feel like, um, let me take this off. Do y'all feel like your Uggs are just not the same as the old ones? My trash stinks, oh, I'm gonna take that out. Yes. This is the fit, my blacks don't match, but mind your business, okay? You shouldn't even be that close to me. Stay like six feet away. Cause she's still out here, y'all, okay? So this is the vibe. This is nice. So she is nice and clean. I got all my junk back there. Picked up some fruit snacks while I was waiting. So I was kind of hungry. I need to actually eat real food. That would be smart. Okay, we just <laughs> cashed out with Trader Joe's. I really don't think I need to go to the grocery store. Only thing I need to go to the grocery store for is to get noodles for chicken noodle soup. I pretty much got all my essentials and stuff that I needed too, so we're good. Also saw a supporter, oh my gosh, when I was um uh, looking at the flowers. So hey girl, if you're watching. I had a breath because I decided it was smart to do one trip from the car to the house, okay? <laughs> and like I said, I cashed out in TJ Maxx. So, just imagine how much I just carried. It's okay, because I'm strong, I'm independent, and I don't need no man. <laughs> anyway, um, I got some of, uh, what is this, the teriyaki chicken? Yeah, teriyaki chicken. I got two of them, like I said, I just wanted to, not at the grocery shop for a while, so I picked up multiples of stuff that I just know I love. Um, some vegetable fried rice and broccoli, and then also my favorite, my soup dumplings, the chicken ones. Y'all know I love these. More olive oil, like I said, I was gonna get, but I got four of these. These are the Harvest Chili, and they're so good, y'all. And my dad really likes them, so. I got two for me, two for him. Um, I actually might eat one of those now. Actually, I'm going to lunch with my friend at three. But it's only 12, so I need to eat something. Um, and then I also picked up these. I had these last time. The garlic shiitake green beans. Bomb.com. So I paired these with, you know, the chicken and the rice. And just to have a little veggie. So I got that. And then... Next bag. This is heavy. Um, I got some eggs. I don't usually get eggs from Trader. Like the noise is crazy. Y'all hear that helicopter? Um, I don't usually get eggs from Trader Joe's, but I was like, they're right here. Let me get it because by that uh, point, I decided I wasn't going to the grocery store. So I said, might as well get some of my essentials. I also picked up some cherries. I love cherries y'all i don't know if it's a southern thing my family is super country so we just eat a little cup of cherries for a little snack so oh shoot i've been eating cherries since i was younger it was kind of like my i want to say guilty pleasure because it's not really bad for you but it's just been my thing since i was younger like getting a little cup of cherries um got some bananas too i'm gonna pick these up the shrimp burgers i saw somebody on instagram had these and i have tried these before but i haven't had them honestly in years so i just picked them up because they were right there staring at me um also got my favorite oat creamer i got two because i've been going through these because they're kind of small so i go through those kind of fast and then avocados for um breakfast and then i got gyoza sauce and i haven't had this in a minute the sweet chili sauce so i just got another one okay. next bag another bag this one is literally filled to the ground um i got more shrimp gyoza got two of them 
because they're my favorite. I got some stuff for chicken noodle soup. So this is the mirepoix and it just has um, carrots, chopped up onions, and some celery. I wanna make a big pot so I can share it with my friends and family and stuff. So that's why I got two. And I also picked up some oat milk for my matcha and also iced coffee. Two more soup dumplings. I always get a bunch of them because I make them off the one. And then my favorite, the butter chicken. So these are just like little heat up things you can put in the microwave. And these be saving me like, I feel like Trader Joe's really saves me when I don't feel like cooking. I don't have enough time to cook like, you know, or I'm just hungry right in there and don't have the energy to even cook. I was saying this to I think one of my friends or something, but honestly, ever since, I hate saying this, but like ever since, you know, my grandpa passed away, I have just been so off my game. I haven't been grocery shopping. I mean, I have, but it hasn't been like effective. You know what I mean? Like actually getting stuff and making wholesome meals. Like I don't think I've cooked since, I don't even know. I don't even know. I mean, I cook, but it'd be like Trader Joe's type stuff. You know, that don't even be nothing for real. But um, yeah, I definitely just, I need to get it together. You know, I'm just taking it one day at a time, but I need to truly, truly get it together.